Hello everyone, let's look at these two questions on the board coming from 2016 paper 1 GCE they were coming from question number 2 okay so question 2 had two parts we have simplify part A simplify 2M minus 4N minus 3 in brackets we have 3N minus M and B evaluate 3 raised to the power 2 plus 2 raised to the power 3 times 2 raised to the power 0 Okay, so let's see how we can answer these two questions. We start with the first one. Simplify. So you copy the question the way it is, which is 2m minus 4n minus 3. In brackets, we have 3n minus m. So this is algebra. So this is an algebraic expression. The moment you are given an algebraic expression that has got brackets, start from there. You get my point? You start from there so that you get rid of the brackets. So this side you are going to copy the way it is, which is 2m minus 4n. Then here you are going to start multiplying in order for you to get rid of the brackets. So you are going to say negative 3 times 3, this will give you negative 9 n there's n here the negative ne times negative will give you positive 3 times m gives you 3m you see so the brackets have gone at this stage you are going to collect like terms together meaning m on one side n also on the other side so we are going to write 2m you copy 2m where is the pair? It's here. So you are going to get this one here. You bring it here. It is positive 3m. So it must be copied the way it is. No change of sign here. Because I know some of you might think once it is brought here, then this will change. Then the positive will change to negative. No. This is not an equation. It is an expression. So you get the way it is. Bring it here. So that it is closer to them. Um, to the friend here which is 2m then we have negative 4n we have negative 4n the other pair is negative 9n negative 9n you write them like that at this stage like terms can be added so m m these are like terms so you're going to say 2m plus 3m this will give you 5 m on the other side we have n n it means they can also be paired at this point we have negative negative same signs is telling you to do what to add so you're going to add 4 plus 9 this will give you 13 as for the sign always get the sign from the bigger number 9 is bigger than 4 so the 9 has got a negative so this will give us negative 13 n there is nothing that can be done at this stage because M and N are not like terms. So this is your answer. You end here. Hope we are together. Now let's look at the other question, which is the B part here. Uh, B part says we have to find the exact value of uh, 3 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 3 times 2 to the power 0. These are indices. So in order for you to get the correct answer here, because when they say everywhere, that's the same as saying find the exact answer for this. So what you are going to do, first of all, we want to find the answer to this. What is 3 raised to the power 2? This does not mean 3 times 2, no. But 3 times 3, that is the meaning. So 3 raised to the power 2 will give us 9. 3 times 3, that's 9. Plus 2 raised to the power 3, again, does not mean 2 times 3. But 2 times 2 times 2. This is the meaning of this. And this will give us what? 8. Plus 2 raised to the power 0. 
We say any number of variable raised to the power 0, the answer is what? 1. You need to know that. So it's not 0, but always anything raised to the power 0, it's 1. Then here, don't be too quick to say, sorry, here is supposed to be what? Uh, times here. Here, don't be too quick to say 9 plus 3. Then the answer multiplied by the other number. No. no. Here, you need to apply board mass. And in board mass, here, we have two operations, which is plus and times. So in board mass, it says you have to multiply before you add. So you are going to multiply this part before you add. So you are going to say 9, you write 9 the way it is, plus this side here, you multiply. Nine, 8 times 1 will give you 8. Then add 17. This is your answer. I hope you have enjoyed. Please share the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook and TikTok. Thank you.